everyone, this is Teacher Mel, and today we are going to transform a conditional statement into inverse, converse, and contrapositive. So I have here the summary of conditional statement, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. So para matransform natin into converse, inverse, and contrapositive, dapat alam mo na natin ang kanyang conditional statement. So, ang ibig sabihin ng conditional statement, it is formed by joining two statements, P and Q, using the words F and then. The P statement is called the hypothesis and the Q statement is the conclusion. So, ibig sabihin, ang conditional statement ay F, P, then Q. So, uh, we have here an example. If a number is even, then it is divisible by 2. Okay, so ito yung letter P natin or ito yung hypothesis natin A number is even Ang ating letter Q naman ay It is divisible by a 2 Ito yung ating conclusion So meron na tayong value ng letter P and letter Q So kapag may value na tayo ng P and Q Mas madali na para sa atin na i-convert siya into inverse, converse, and contrapositive Papaano? Mag-start tayo sa converse Ang ibig sabihin ng converse, we're just going to switch the hypothesis and the conclusion. Pagpapalitin lang natin ng pwesto ang hypothesis and the conclusion. So this will become if Q, then P. Okay, we write it this way. Now let's identify kung ano yung conclusion natin or yung value ng letter Q natin. Based sa ating conditional statement, ang ating conclusion ay it is divisible by 2. Therefore, ang magiging statement natin ay, if it is divisible by 2, and then identify natin ang ating hypothesis, ang ating hypothesis ay, a number is even. Magiging statement naman natin ay, then the number is even. Ang ginawa natin, we switch. Pinagpalit lang natin ang ating hypothesis and the conclusion. Therefore, ang ating converse statement na ngayon ay, if it is divisible by 2, then the number is even. Okay? Now, we have the inverse. Ano naman ang inverse? Ang inverse is formed by taking the neg negation of the hypothesis and of the conclusion. So, kukunin natin ang kanyang negation. Ang magiging statement natin ay, if not P, then not Q. Ganun na magiging inverse. So, we'll write it this way. Not P and not Q. Now, we identify kung ano yung ating hypothesis. Ang ating hypothesis or yung value ng letter P natin ay a number is even. Ang magiging statement natin ay this one. If the number is not even, okay, then not Q. Ano yung Q natin? It is divisible by 2. Then, it is not divisible by 2. So, anong ginawa natin sa inverse? Kinuha natin ang kanyang negation ng hypothesis and the conclusion. Ang statement natin ay, if not P, then not Q. If the number is not even, then it is not divisible by 2. Okay, now we have the contrapositive. Alam, nakuha na natin ang inverse, nakuha na din natin ang converse, now we move on to contrapositive. Sabi sa contrapositive, it is formed naman by switching and negating the hypothesis and the conclusion. Take the inverse of the converse of the converse of the inverse. Ano ang ibig sabihin ni noon? Ang gagawin lang natin, kukunin lang natin yung inverse ng ating converse. Okay? So, switch lang natin ang ating hypothesis and the conclusion, pero yung negation nila ang switch natin. Okay? Ang magiging statement natin ay, if not Q, then not P. Okay, so let muna natin this way. Not Q and not P. Okay? Ano yung value ng Q natin? Or ito yung ating conclusion. Ang ating conclusion ay it is divisible by 2. Ano yung contrapositive niya? 
not a Q. So, ang magiging statement natin ay, if, it, if it's not, or if it is not divisible by 2, okay, then not P. Ano yung value ng P natin? A number is even. Then, the number is not even. Okay? So, pinag, palit lang natin ng pwesto ang hypothesis and the conclusion. Ang pinagpalit natin ang negation, negating the hypothesis and the conclusion. Okay? Thank you everyone. Please subscribe for more math videos.